Hello and welcome to your daily dose of tech news with AI News Network where the future is being written in code and also apparently in legal documents thicker than a Silicon Valley CEO's hair plugs. We've got AI regulations causing international tension, self-driving cars taking a detour into licensing agreements, and AI models so cheap they make budget airlines look like private jet companies. So buckle up, because today's news cycle is about to take us on a wild ride. And I, for one, am not sure I trust the algorithm at the wheel. Today we'll unpack the EU's ambitious attempt to regulate AI, a move that has some US tech giants shaking harder than a robot learning to do the Macarena. We'll also dive into Tesla's hunt for a self-driving partner, because apparently, even Elon Musk needs a little help sometimes, let's get into it. But first we'd like to welcome all our Mainer friends and family to the AI News Network. We go HOD. The European Union is at it again, wrangling the wild west of artificial intelligence. Their AI Act aims to regulate AI systems based on potential harm. Think of it like a risk pyramid with the scariest stuff at the top. US tech companies claim it's stifling innovation, but the EU might be balancing innovation and preventing a real-life black mirror. Well, 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 look who's come crawling back to the negotiating table. It seems even Tesla, the company that swore up and down that its self-driving technology was light years ahead of the competition, is starting to realize that even the best autopilot needs a co-pilot sometimes. That's right, folks, Tesla's stock took a bit of a dip recently amidst rumors that the company is looking to license its full self-driving technology to other automakers. And the kicker? One of the potential partners is none other than Ford, a company that Tesla CEO Elon Musk has, shall we say, publicly needled on more than one occasion. For Tesla, licensing its FSD technology could be a way to generate significant revenue, which, let's be honest, is something they could use right now. Hold on to your hats, folks, because Google's about to drop some AI knowledge bombs that are hotter than a jalapeno eating contest in a sauna. Alphabet, Google's parent company, just announced some major updates to its Gemini AI models. And let me tell you, they're not messing around. First up, we've got the launch of Flashlight, a brand spanking new AI model that's designed to be as cheap as it is powerful. We're talking about AI so affordable, it makes $2 Tuesdays at your local dive bar look like a ripoff. Google's not just doing this out of the goodness of their algorithmic hearts. They know that the AI market is about to get a whole lot more competitive, and they're not about to let companies like DeepSeek come in and eat their lunch. Hold on to your tinfoil hats, conspiracy theorists, because Google's at it again, this time with an update to their Gemini app that's either going to revolutionize the way we interact with AI or usher in the robot apocalypse. The big news? Gemini now has a feature called flash thinking which no, sadly, does not involve time travel or fighting supervillains. Instead, it's a new reasoning AI model that's designed to explain the answers to complex questions in a way that even your conspiracy theorist uncle who lives in a bunker and only communicates in Morse code can understand. Think of it like this. Before, when you asked an AI a question, you basically got the digital equivalent of a shrug and a because I said so. But now, with flash thinking, you get a detailed explanation that breaks down the reasoning behind the answer complete with citations and sources. All right, folks, let's talk about lawyers for a second. Now, I know what you're thinking. Lawyers? But John, this is a tech news show, not a seminar on how to sue your neighbor for using the wrong font on their mailbox. And you're right, but hear me out, because this story has it all. A former lawyer, self-taught coding, a multi-million dollar investment, and of course, AI that's coming for our jobs. Meet Min Q Jung, a former lawyer who clearly got tired of billing by the hour and decided to take his legal fate into his own hands by learning to code. He created a platform called Evo, which is basically like spell check for contracts but a million times more sophisticated and a million times less likely to suggest replacing the word breach with breach. Evo automates the tedious and time-consuming process of contract review, which, let's be honest, sounds about as much fun as a root canal without anesthesia. And investors clearly agree because Jung just secured a cool $25.6 million in funding for his brainchild. Well, folks, it seems the global AI landscape just got a little bit more interesting. South Korea, land of K-pop, kimchi, and cutting-edge technology, has decided to temporarily pump the brakes on DeepSeek, a Chinese AI startup that's been making waves in the industry. Now, you might be thinking, DeepSeek? Who dat? 
And that's a fair question because until recently, they've been flying under the radar, quietly building up their AI arsenal and amassing a client list that would make even the most jaded tech investor drool. But it seems their success hasn't gone unnoticed, especially by the South Korean government, which has raised concerns about data security and potential misuse of DeepSeek's technology. Several South Korean ministries and agencies have restricted the use of DeepSeek services while they conduct a full security review. So, for now, DeepSeek's expansion plans are on hold, at least in South Korea. Alright folks, it's time for the ultimate AI cage match. In this corner, we've got ChatGPT, the reigning champion of conversational AI, known for its witty banter and uncanny ability to write Shakespearean sonnets about tax returns. And in the other corner, we've got Claude, the cool, calm, and collected contender, known for its factual accuracy and impressive knowledge base. It's a battle for the ages, a clash of the titans, uh, okay, you get the point. But wait, there's a twist. This isn't just a two-horse race anymore. Joining the fray is Deep Seek, the dark horse from China, here to shake things up with its cost-effective and surprisingly powerful AI models. So, who will emerge victorious? Who will be crowned the ultimate AI assistant? Well, a recent evaluation put all three contenders through their paces, testing their performance in a variety of tasks, from writing different kinds of creative content, to answering your burning questions about the meaning of life, the universe, and everything. And the results? Well, it's a mixed bag. Each assistant has its strengths and weaknesses, its quirks and idiosyncrasies. ChatGPT is still the king of creativity, while Claude excels at factual accuracy. And DeepSeek? Well, it's the scrappy underdog that's quickly gaining ground with its impressive capabilities and affordable price point. Remember DeepSeek, the Chinese AI startup that South Korea briefly tried to put in time out? Well, it seems like they're back and more influential than ever, at least if you believe the whispers on Wall Street and the chatter in Silicon Valley. This plucky little company has somehow become the talk of the town, the name on everyone's lips, the... Okay, I'll stop with the cliches, but you get the point. DeepSeek is everywhere these days, and their impact on the AI industry is impossible to ignore. We're talking about a company that's gone from relative obscurity to a major player in the blink of an AI's eye. And it's not just because of their impressive technology, though their cost-effective AI models certainly haven't hurt their case. Hold on to your berets, Europe, because it seems like you might have a new champion in the global AI arms race. And it comes from a rather unexpected place, China. That's right, folks. DeepSeek, the company that's been causing a stir in both South Korea and Silicon Valley, is now being hailed as a potential savior for European tech companies looking to gain an edge in the increasingly competitive world of artificial intelligence. DeepSeek offers something that many European companies desperately need, affordable and efficient AI solutions. Their cost-effective AI models could be the key to unlocking innovation and helping European companies catch up in the global AI race. All right, folks, let's wrap things up with a story about AI, energy, and a partnership that's either going to revolutionize the way we power our world or accidentally unleash a swarm of sentient algorithms that develop a taste for crude oil. Repsol, the Spanish energy giant, has decided to double down on its collaboration with Accenture, the global consulting firm, to accelerate the adoption of generative AI across its operations. Now, for those of you who aren't fluent in corporate jargon, generative AI is basically a fancy way of saying AI that can create things like, say, new energy sources, more efficient drilling techniques, or, you know, a catchy jingle for their next advertising campaign. But the real kicker here is that Repsol and Accenture are planning to implement something called AI agent systems. And no, this doesn't mean they're training a bunch of robots to infiltrate OPEC meetings and steal trade secrets, though I'll admit, that would make for a much more exciting story. Instead, these AI agent systems are basically like super-powered virtual assistants that can automate complex tasks, make decisions, and generally make life easier for Repsol employees. So, what does this all mean? Well, for Repsol, it means increased efficiency, reduced costs, and hopefully a brighter and slightly less carbon-intensive future. And now, as promised, here are today's top three AI tools and three ways to make money with AI. As we watch some funny AI-generated farm animals, top three AI tools, ChatGPT, Claude and DeepSeek, top three ways to make money with AI. 
You can develop AI-powered applications, offer AI consulting services or create and sell AI-generated content. We at AI News Network want thank you so much for watching. Have a great and productive day.